Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to do a review on a pan that I got um, from QVC. I really wanted this pan. It's called Latina Cast Iron um, Cookware. It's a lot less heavy than regular cast iron, a cast iron skillet. It also has these handles. It has the glass cover with the handle on it. This aisle will go into your oven and these won't melt up to 500 degrees. Um, I wanted something that I have my other cast iron skillet, my big one, and then I have a little one that I use for cornbread, and I'm seasoning them today. I'm seasoning everything today. Um, but this one, it's supposed to come already pre-seasoned, but I went on and seasoned it anyway, and I washed it real good with um, soap and water and a brush, and then I took canola oil and a paper towel and rubbed all around it on the inside and on the outside and I put it in a cookie sheet and I put it in the oven on like between 275-300 um, for one hour and then I got it out wiped it off and it says one of, it says one of the first things you need to fix in your um, cast iron cookware is bacon or sausage so I'm frying some bacon and I'm telling you it isn't sticking at all and here's the three slices that I've already gotten out and after these after I get these out I'm gonna try with the scrambled eggs and see how they do but this is called Latina and um, I got it from QVC and it was $32 and of course with shipping it ended up being $12 for shipping so I got it on four payments I pay $11 a month for four months and I really needed this for my um, new wave induction cooktop so um, I just wanted to show you this and I'll bring you back now I'm doing the bacon and when the bacon gets ready and gets done I put it on the paper towel here I'll drain some of this um, bacon grease out and then I'll put the eggs in there and I'll bring you back and we'll see how it does with the eggs okay I'm back and you can see here's the bacon fried up perfectly now I'm gonna do the eggs I've got a little bit of bacon grease in here and I'm gonna put the eggs in here was 10 eggs and let's see how it does in this pan I've got the temperature set on 375 let me get some salt and some pepper And if anything does stick in your um, cast iron skillet, you can just put some water in it and boil it and everything will come out of it. It's just like when you're deglazing your pan when you're cooking. You can deglaze this, so I'm sure I'm probably going to have to do that because eggs do tend to... Stick a little bit in your cast iron skillet when you're cooking. What is that? What is that? It's bacon grease. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm just letting these cook uh, slow. I'm sitting here. I'm just letting these cook slow. So when best, these get best. done, I'll bring you back. Okay, as you can see, here's my eggs. They all, they turned out really good. They just stuck a little bit on the bottom right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my pan on high. And then I'm going to pour a cup of water in there. And I'm going to let this boil. And when this starts boiling and that comes up, I'll bring you back and let you see. Okay, and here's my um, egg and bacon sandwich. Um, that's what I'm fixing, everybody. So that's what we're going to eat today. And so this is just a... Um, a review on this pan, and when this starts boiling and get these eggs up, I'll bring you back. Okay, I just wanted to bring you back. I've heated this. All the eggs have come off of the bottom. I'm going to take it outside and pour it out, and I don't have a garbage disposal, so my garbage disposal is the raccoons and the possums around here. So, I'm going to take this outside and pour it out, and when I get that out, I'll bring you back and show you the pan and what I'm going to do to it to put it up. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to tell you that we emptied the water out of it. Ah. And I put it um, in the sink with cold, cool water and a um, dish rag that had no soap, nothing on it. And wiped it out. And it still left a little um, discoloration on here. But remember, this is cast iron. And cast iron has to build up its um, seasoned coating or whatever on the bottom of it. So now what I'm going to do is I've got this. I just put canola oil in here. Um, I'm wiping it around with the paper towel. The bottom is real. It's, it's real good. Um, seasoned real good and now what I'm gonna do is just put some um, parchment paper in here and then put the top on it and I'll store it like that okay here's the parchment paper um, so I'm just gonna put the top on it now and let it rest like that and the parchment paper will Keep the, the oil coating on there, help preserve it. And um, so this is my review on the Latina skillet from QVC. Like I told you, it's um, I got it for $32 with shipping of $12. I pay $11 for four months for it. It's, the, it's lightweight cast iron. It's a whole lot light, more lightweight than my other one this size, just my regular um, cast iron skillet. But this one um, is, I think it's going to be well worth the money that I'm paying for it. And especially since I can use it on my induction cooktop. That's one of the main reasons I got it. But if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you have a wonderful day.